Why do people learn how to code? Do people view coding as a tool that can be used to innovate and solve complex problems? Or is it because coding is a valuable skill to have in a rapidly growing, technologically based society? At Code Your Dreams, we consider these viewpoints as one and the same. When we teach our students how to code, we offer them multiple perspectives on what coding actually is, as well as how they can use coding to their advantage. Throughout our program, we synergize the traditional experience of learning coding in a classroom setting with the challenge of solving problems facing both ourselves and our communities. While students in our program accrue a fundamental knowledge of computer programming, they will also build problem solving and communication skills. We introduce students to coding who have little to no experience in computer science through the MIT App Inventor, an intuitive, visual programming environment that allows everyone to build functional applications for Android and iOS. With this tool, students will be introduced to programming through block-based programming. In block-based programming, students have the ability to treat programming instructions as blocks, which are manipulated through actions such as dragging, dropping, and clicking. These blocks combine to serve as a program similar to one run in a traditional programming language. In this environment, students will learn about the basics of computer programming, learn about events, data types, methods, and other similar concepts. They will utilize their accrued knowledge of programming in the MIT App Inventor. Meanwhile, students with more coding experience under their belt can apply to our more advanced classes. We want to provide them with the opportunity to learn a real-world computer programming language, Python. In Python, they will take a closer look at elementary concepts and be introduced to more advanced topics as well. These topics range from using functions, forms, databases, and packages to performing debugging and data cleansing. A student's accrued knowledge of Python will be applied in Flask, a Python-based web development tool. Regardless of previous experience, however, all students who participate in the Code Your Dreams program will have one thing in common. They will have created a phone application that aims to address some problem within their community. We prompt students to think critically about issues they could address within their communities and how to apply what they've learned in our course to help create change for the better. Over the course of our program, our students not only learn how to brainstorm technologically based solutions for community based problems, but will also learn how to best present their solutions to their communities. Whether it be through learning the best ways to debug their applications or picking up skills such as branding and marketing, they will fine tune their applications so that they're easily accessible to their specific communities. All of this experience will help provide them with skills that will prepare them for future coding endeavors. At Code Your Dreams, we don't just help students build technology or teach them how to code. We also teach them how to use technology to be community activists and how to make positive change within their communities. Are technology-related jobs focused entirely on computer programming? Of course not. Then why only expose yourself to programming? At Code Your Dreams, we look to provide students with a holistic exposure to the various aspects of general technological development. We want students to develop their knowledge of computer programming while also encouraging them to start thinking about the various ways this knowledge can be applied. Specifically, we direct them to use their knowledge to solve various problems that affect their communities. Technology is a tool that can be used to better people's lives, but many don't know how to leverage it and don't have the resources to easily discover how to. We look to provide students with an opportunity to engage in programming and encourage them to further explore potential technological avenues related to computer science. While we aim to get our students to create phone applications to help their communities, we really want to get them accustomed to thinking about how they can best use the skills they acquire through our classes. Similar to other traditional computer science programs, Code Your Dreams aims to impart a knowledge of computational thinking. We teach basic concepts such as data types, control flow, and other concepts integral to developing a thorough understanding of how to code. And in our more advanced parts of our courses, we expose students to software industry terminology. Where our program excels, however, is in how we expose students to different aspects of the technological industry. We aim to teach students not only how to construct solutions to problems, but also how these solutions can be targeted and solicited to the communities that need them most. When attempting to address a problem, it is absolutely necessary to come up with some sort of solution. Oftentimes, however, the problem-solving process does not stop there. In order for the final solution to be fully implemented, there are a number of steps that must be taken. For example, the solution may need to be tested, the creators may need to discover where the solution is most needed, 
the solution may need to be effectively presented to some other group, especially if the product needs to be approved before it can reach its target audience. This is why our program touches upon technological areas such as QA testing, market research, and general branding. While student solutions may help people around their community, we also believe in the value of teaching them the final steps in the solution's implementation. We also look to allow students to foster their appreciation for technology and the creative process. If we're being truthful, not all students will be interested in raw computer programming. But why should they close the door on computer science altogether if they only dislike one of its aspects? If students want to become involved in technology-related fields, they don't just have to be interested in computer programming. For instance, if they would find aspects of technological development such as testing or user research to be more attractive to them, we would want to develop their enthusiasm for technology by introducing them to these areas. At Code Your Dreams, we look to encourage our students to become involved in the creation of beneficial technology in more ways than one. On the whole, Code Your Dreams looks to provide students with a comprehensive view of coding and the multiple ways it can be applied in the real world. We look to provide students with an introduction to the multiple avenues they can use to solve problems within their communities.